In today's Health Smart, alcohol is the third leading preventable cause of death in the United States behind tobacco and unhealthy eating habits. And chances are you or someone you know drinks alcohol too much too often. Psychiatrist and addiction specialist Dr. Reef Kareem is here to help us understand the risk and, and also uh, the signs that we need to look out for, right? Yeah. And, you know, it's silly because one of the questions, you know, that we talked about is why do people drink? A lot of people drink. A lot of people drink. Yes. I, let's get real about alcohol. I, I, alcohol is it's everywhere mm -hmm. billboards commercials bars restaurants clubs 86% yeah. of Americans have used alcohol mm -hmm. and 27% will binge alcohol on any specific month so people use alcohol for all sorts of reasons I mean it's a great excuse why did you call your ex-boyfriend eight times last night right. I was drunk <laughs> yeah it, and people use it as a social lubricant to connect with people they use it to escape pain they use it to numb out they use it as a ritual they use it as celebratory there's so many reasons but for 88,000 people mm. in this country that die from alcohol related deaths and 15 to 20 million people that suffer from an alcohol use disorder alcohol can be a debilitating debilitating disease interesting question that comes up sometimes in social circles is that you know th people will say alcoholism runs in my family I'm sort of like I'm not drinking this week because I'm you know feel like I just need to take a break does it really run technically in families it 100% absolutely wow. runs in families yeah okay. it's it's got a, a 50 percent inheritance so 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 basically that means that it's passed on from a hereditary perspective and in fact one of the biggest warning signs or risk factors of do you have an alcohol problem and might you be at risk for an alcohol problem is does your family, does someone in your family have an alcohol problem or were you even raised by someone who has an alcohol problem? Because it's not just biological, it's also environmental. And there are studies out that actually show men and women what the numbers are. So say, you know, if you have a boyfriend and every night he drinks three beers mm -hmm. to watch TV, is that a problem seven nights a week? So what we're talking about is risky drinking. So risky drinking is different for men and women because men and women process alcohol differently. So for men, it's four drinks on a specific day four drinks or more or 14 drinks over a week time period okay. and for women it's three drinks a day and seven drinks over a week time period seven day time period if you drink that much or you know someone that drinks that much or drinks more than that then that's considered risky drinking so three a night for women yes okay interesting uh so that one glass of wine a night's okay yeah, I mean, it depends who you are. If you're an alcoholic, it's not right. it's not good for right. you. Right, good point. But, you know, it just depends who you are. But, yeah, I mean, there are some, some minor improvements or things that can happen to your body by drinking alcohol, but there's so many problems associated with alcohol if you are vulnerable to an addiction. And if, if somebody is, you know, I, I would recommend that they, you know, they, they go to an AA meeting. If they, all you need to go to an AA meeting is a desire to stop drinking. Go to an Al-Anon meeting if you're a spouse or a family member. Um, ask somebody, you know, there's, there's something we call the cage screener in our business, which is, have you tried to cut down and you haven't been able to? Are you annoyed when people ask you about your drinking? Oh. Yeah. Uh, do you feel guilty about your drinking? And uh, is it an eye opener? Do you sometimes go to alcohol right away first thing in the morning? So is that a, if you answer yes to any of those questions, you maybe need to turn and face yourself? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Turn and face yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, that, it, any of those, especially all four of them. But it, but if if you feel like there's a problem with alcohol or if you have a friend who has a problem with alcohol, the main thing you want to look at is you don't need to cure them. You just need to set them in the right direction towards getting support, getting professional help, going to an AA meeting or seeing what the leverage is that that person that that person uses. So meaning, I really want to raise my kid. I don't want the drinking to get in the way of my kid or my family. Reef Cream, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of insight on that. You know, a lot of times in social circles, you hear people talking about it, probably because 86% of people have tried alcohol. Yeah, that's a lot All of right, people. thank you so much. And of course, remember, you can hear more from Dr. Reef Cream on his website. Also, Reef Cream, that's at reefcream.com. Um, and also, uh, you, you're doing a little bit of comedy too these days. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like so much of the way that we disseminate information mm -hmm. to people is is serious and it's so hardcore, and especially doctors. Doctors can be so boring. So, you know, I, I, I've been doing stand-up for years and years and doing improv, and I now combine comedy 
and medicine, and uh, I have a, a show called Reef Madness. That's right, Reef Madness. Yeah. I couldn't remember the name of it. Great. All right, Kai, let's uh, chat a little bit. Something we haven't talked about today much, the Dodgers. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it's the only game in town. No pun intended. Yeah, we're looking at...